Welcome back to Photoshop Basics on PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak. In this tutorial, we are going to learn more about layers and how to blend them together. Blending is really useful when you want to use more images on top of each other, but you would like to see all of them with special blending of the colors. So for example here I have a photograph at the bottom on the background layer and I have some other materials and images on top of it. I will turn on first this layer called negative with this film strip and I'm going to change the blend mode of this layer. By coming here on the top of the layers panel where we see normal I click on that and from this drop down menu I will choose multiply. As you can see with multiply blend mode we can see through the brighter areas of this layer and see the background layer. So this is a special blend between the negative and the background layer. It's similar to changing the opacity of the layer but as you can see, Multiply uses the original black colors, so they are not transparent, only the bright areas of this layer are transparent. If I would use Screen Mode, which is another very useful blend mode, I will only see the bright areas and I won't see the black areas. But in this case, I will go back to Multiply because I would like to see the film strip itself and then I turn on the next layer which is called material it is actually a texture and I would like to add this texture onto the photograph again by using another blend mode which is again a very useful blend mode called overlay now I will select this and you can see it adds all the texture detail to the photograph if I zoom closer you can see that this is now applied to the photograph quickly and easily by just simply changing the blend mode. I zoom back by using Ctrl or Command 0 to fit the image to screen and then I turn on another layer called Edge and from this layer I would like to only use these stains on the edges, these black ones. So which blend mode should I use here? Yeah, you're right, multiply. I hope you said multiply. <laughs> so I choose multiply and I only see the stains. Then I go to the next image, I turn that on and from this image I would like to only see the white areas. So which blend mode should I use? Yes, the screen mode. So I change it to screen mode. And now from that layer I only see the white parts and not the black ones. Now last but not least I would like to add the frame to this image and I show you now a good technique to do this but of course there are lots of ways to do it but if you would like to see a frame on top of all of these effects you should have a new layer, create a new layer I show you how to do that click on the new layer icon put it on the top by moving it on the top you can name this frame and then you should fill this with any color that you want to use uh, it's a useful keyboard shortcut alt backspace will fill the selected layer with the foreground color in my case that's black so I press alt backspace to fill this layer with black and then I double click on the layer and apply stroke layer style I change the position to inside and I increase the size of it. And as you can see, I quickly created a frame, a white frame. I click on OK. And now I will show you another thing on the layers panel, which is really useful. The fill option under the opacity. If you click on fill and turn it down to zero, you will see only the effect applied to this layer but not the layer content itself. To have a layer style like the stroke effect we need something on the layer but for the end result we only want to use the effect itself and not the layer content, the black fill. 
So that's why I'm using fill instead of using opacity. Fill is a special opacity option for layers where you use layer styles. I don't have time to cover all of these blend modes and I can't really tell you the exact way to work with all of them because they are all useful but you need to kind of experiment to find out when it's the best to use them. The most useful ones are multiply, screen and overlay or maybe also soft light. Multiply always darkens screen always brightens the two images together and overlay is a spe special blend mode which is kind of between screen and multiply and the possibilities when you work with blend modes are endless and just to show you an example i close this file and i show you another file where i would like to color this scanned drawing I zoom a little bit closer and I create a new layer on top of the background layer and I will name that layer coloring. I will then use my brush tool. I will talk more about the brush tool soon but for now just select the brush tool and use a color by clicking on the foreground color options. I will use blue. I would like to color this dragon with a blue color and I will start drawing over the dragon. The only problem with coloring is that we are losing details from the original image, the scanned image, but because we are doing the coloring on a separate layer, we can always change the blend mode of this layer and in this case use multiply to see the line drawing below the colors that you are using for coloring. So this is just another example how great it is to work with blend modes in Photoshop. And if you have more time, you can get to a point like this <laughs> with coloring this scanned image. Of course, I spent more than a couple of minutes to get from this point to this, but it's the same technique. So by only knowing blending, you can make really nice illustrations in Photoshop or add special effects to your photographs. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure that you come back next time to learn more about adjustment layers in the next episode. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time.